Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For you guys who are new around here, my name is Nitsan. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to show you guys my wardrobe staples. These are the pieces in my wardrobe that I wear the most. I always gravitate towards them. I can't live without them. Um, also, quick disclaimer, the light keeps changing on me. I'm currently obviously filming at home and Toronto is going through something right now. It's sunny one second, it's cloudy one second. But anyway, you guys, I kept these pieces pieces super weather neutral so they're definitely great for spring and summer coming up or if you're living somewhere warm and it's already spring for you I'm so jealous I can't relate these pieces may have been ones that I've had in my wardrobe for a while I will link them or similar items below so if you guys like anything that you see here I'll probably have it covered for you guys in the description with direct links but without further ado I'm going to jump right into it because as you guys can see I have them all here but Hope you guys like it and let's jump into the video. The first item I want to talk to you guys about is my oversized boxy menswear black blazer. Um, as you guys will see, I have it in another color as well, but I wanted to talk about the black because I think black is your number one staple. This one, I believe, is an XL and it's vintage. When it comes to the fit, as you guys can see, it's very boxy on the shoulders. It's super oversized. You can wear these in so many different ways. They are so versatile. My favorite way is honestly to throw this over a little crop top or a t-shirt with jeans, add some booties or heels, some slides, some sneakers, and call it a day. Blazers make you look so put together and like you really know what you're doing. They're so like fashion. I also have one in a nude. This is such a staple for me that I wanted it in a nude as well based on the outfit I'm wearing. Sometimes nude looks better, sometimes black looks better. As you guys will see, my most worn items or my wardrobe staples are definitely more in the neutral shade range, which I think is great because it makes them so much more versatile. But anyway, I have the nude, I have the black. I also want to get a white one for spring and summer. Um, but anyway, I'll link similar options below because both of these are vintage. So my next staple is is my oversized black leather jacket. There's an ongoing theme here. I love my jackets oversized and boxy and my leather jacket is no exception. This one is from Zara. The size is large, extra large, and it has silver hardware detailing. Um, it has a buckle, it has a belt. It's like your typical big black leather jacket. Kind of looks like you stole it from your boyfriend, which is always the look that I tend to go for. And this, if I honestly had to pick one one item in my closet that I wear the most, it's absolutely my leather jacket. I pack this on every trip that I go on, no matter the season, no matter the destination. If you're going anywhere in the fall time, springtime, at night, obviously it gets cooler, you throw a leather jacket on, keeps you warm. I'm sorry the light keeps changing. Let's not forget winter as well. I actually love layering a leather jacket in the winter, obviously over a sweater or anything, but then underneath a big like faux fur jacket or a coat, it looks really cool with the layering. So it's such a great piece. With a leather jacket like this, you look so badass. Doesn't matter what you're wearing, whether it's a graphic tee, sweatpants, you throw this on and you instantly look so much more put together and so much cooler. So I will link similar ones below. If this one is available off Zara, I will link this one for sure as well. For the longest time, I believe it was sold out. But number one item, I guess I could have just started with this because it's actually my most worn item. But anyway, note to self. So the next item that I absolutely wear at all times, at all seasons, no matter where I'm going, is my denim jacket. And again, you guys guessed it, it's oversized, it's boxy, it goes with pretty much anything and for any season, um, and it keeps you warm. It's a really good basic to have when you're traveling again, no matter the destination, no matter the weather. There are so many ways to wear a denim jacket as well. In the summer, you can wear it over a little summer dress, you can wear denim on denim for that Canadian tuxedo vibe, you can wear it with trousers, you can wear it with sweatpants, you can literally wear it all the time. And the leather jacket and the denim jacket are two jackets that when I travel, I wear on the plane as well to a keep me warm but also because they're super heavy and it's just a packing hack but anyway i travel with them so much i thought i would share but yeah i absolutely love this one it has silver hardware as well even though i wear a lot of gold jewelry all the time i feel like gold might look a little strange on denim so i always go for just the silver hardware but anyway keeper this next category is a very important one because it's denim and when it comes to denim you guys i tend to wear the same like three pairs of denim or styles 
all the time for you guys to follow me on instagram i'll link it here you guys probably know which ones i wear at all times and you probably have it down but i thought i would share with you guys on youtube and link similar options below so the first ones you guys are these ones right here these are from agle they're super baggy they're high-waisted these aren't like your mom jeans or your like balloon like denim these are kind of just like straight cut but they're super baggy and comfortable they're giving me kind of like cindy crawford vibes in the 90s i think i don't actually know what i'm talking about they're so comfortable maybe because they're worn out a bit but a goldie denim obviously is super high quality as you guys will see my favorite denim is a goldie i have a bunch that i'm about to show you um but these ones i did end up getting taken in because a goldie denim do tend to run a little bit bigger so although i'm a typical us size six these are a size 27 and they're definitely um, oversized. So I got them taken in in the back. I love them. I wear them with pretty much anything, all seasons. I love wearing them with crop top, with sweaters, tucked into boots, with heels. They are just such a good pair of denim. Like if I honestly had to pick one, these are probably the most versatile denim ever. So I'll link these below or similar options, but these are just, these have my heart. And now we have light again, but Speaking of Agledy, my second pair of most worn denim, was that English? I'm not sure, are the Agledy crisscross jeans. And these, you guys, go down in history. If you guys haven't heard about these or haven't heard of the crisscross trend, you have to be living under a rock, but it's okay because I got you and I'm here to fill you in. They are so flattering, you guys. There's something about the crisscross cut that kind of just cinches your waist in, makes you look instantly slimmer. Um, the fit of these down the leg is just amazing as well. Again, they're kind of straight. They're not too baggy. They're not tight. They're also a little frayed at the ends, as you guys can see, which looks super cool with heels, with sneakers. They're kind of like worn in. They're like your basic favorite denim, if that makes sense. I wear these all the time. Literally, it's been almost two years, if not over, and I don't even care if they go out of style. They are just so flattering, and I honestly don't think they're going out anytime soon. Um, a lot of brands have kind of copied this style, um, some cheaper alternatives, so I'll make sure to link them down below low but what I want to share is that recently you guys Agledy also came out with a black version of these but these are them I had to get these in black I know the crisscross denim by Agledy are a little bit more on the pricier side they're around I want to say 300 I'm not sure I'll link them below but it is such a good investment I honestly would say get this one pair of denim over like six others that you might find they are so high quality. They're great after so many washes. They never kind of change their shape. They're so, so good. So had to get it in a black. And for sizing, I got both of them in a size 26. They tend to run two sizes too big. Um, so keep that in mind. But they're just so good. Can't wait to wear them and just had to throw them in here. So speaking of bottoms, ones that I have to mention are my trousers. And let me just... Let's talk about these, shall we? So these trousers right here are from Zara. I have them in three colors, obviously black. Today, I am wearing the nude ones as well. And I also have them in like a charcoal gray. But I did start with the black ones because I feel like when you're looking for a staple, black is always just the way to go. And then I love them so much and I wore them so much that I got them in two more colors. But anyway, they're high-waisted. These are kind of like your menswear suit trousers. I sound like a broken, broken record. Broken record? What? <laughs> they're not cropped and they're straight cut. They have a little fold down the middle, um, which I really like. It makes the look look a lot more elevated and classy um but they are just so versatile you guys i wear these with sneakers i wear them with heels i wear them with little crop tops like you guys can see i'll wear them with a band tee all the jackets i mentioned go with this literally anything goes with these trousers and they're great when you don't want to wear denim and maybe you want to look a little bit more dressy but they're also super comfortable so i wear them on the daily as well as i'm putting them away i also remembered that these you guys look so good when you take a strappy heel and kind of strap it around the pan to create a baggy kind of look i'll insert a photo i did this trend during new york fashion week and i think it's still going to be really cute for spring and summer this season so very appropriate to our current times i wanted to throw in here my favorite sweatsuit this one right here is by tu and it says in my 
Canadian accent, a prey sport, um, which is really cute. It comes in a gray as well. It comes in an orangey, like neon color too. What I love about matching sweatsuits, because obviously I have the matching bottoms as well, is that there are so many different ways to wear them and you can really dress them up or down. Obviously right now, we're wearing them around the house with our socks and our messy hair buns. But when it comes to running errands or going out, which hopefully we can do very soon, um, you can elevate the look with a leather jacket on top. You throw in a gold chain, gold hoops, put your hair in a bun or down, whatever, wear sneakers, a crossbody bag, and it's literally a look. I will link similar ones below. So many brands have matching sweatsuits right now. So this right here is my white vintage corset. I got this off a vintage brand off Instagram, and I got it in September for Fashion Week because I had so many different ideas of how to style this, and since September when I got it, I literally went down a corset rabbit hole, and I literally have maybe 20 in different colors, different fits. We have a problem but this one is super cool because this could be worn as a top obviously wearing corsets as tops is super flattering on the bust it obviously cinches your waist but aside from wearing it as a top you can also wear it as a belt so when you take a super oversized blazer that doubles as a dress that is long enough and you throw this on to cinch your waist it looks so cool and then you can put on tights and little heels or booties it looks amazing this one i love because of the detailing too it has so many buckles and laces the back is velcro so you can really like cinch you up they are such a statement piece in your outfit vintage corsets tend to be a little bit more pricey but i know brands like pretty little thing and nasty gal also have their version of corsets which are cute and might be even like cupped at you know this area which is nice so there's so many different types I'll link some of my favorites below but this is absolutely a staple in my wardrobe so speaking of tops you guys I wanted to mention my favorite crop top to date which is this one right here by RUMI I know when I say crop top you probably envisioned more fabric and this one is basically a bra but this is my favorite top because one it is super flattering the material is super thick so it stays in place i love the thick straps as well it kind of is pretty even across the board which is just a really cool look it looks really good on its own with trousers like this would be super cute i'll insert a photo of me styling this um a few months ago in Punta Cana, but it looks great under blazers, under leather jackets, under denim jackets. It's just a good piece to layer with and to play around with. Our UMI is a little bit on the pricier end. You can literally get so much use out of this, so I absolutely love this one. So the next top I want to mention is just your basic white ribbed tank top. I love mine to be a little bit higher on the neck. This one is almost like a racer back, but that doesn't really matter. I think as long as the fit of it on the front is flattering on your personal bust and shape and then a little bit cropped, that's kind of where I'm going with this. The reason this one is a staple for me is because it's so versatile again, hence the key messaging behind all these pieces. But this looks so great on its own if you were to throw in like my gold necklace, some hoops, jewelry, jeans, and cute shoes setting outfit if you wanted to layer it it looks great it's just such a staple in your wardrobe i have this in black as well from different brands and different materials this one specifically is by the brand steel in a size small a similar option i actually have and want to talk about is this bodysuit by nasty gal i wore this to a dinner meeting when i wanted a more elevated look as well tucked into my black denim with a blazer on top and heels and it looked so good it's so flattering so comfortable and again high cut um, and this one's a bodysuit, so you can just tuck it in and don't have to worry about it as opposed to the crop top version. So they're both great. So another staple in my wardrobe that I want to talk about are these leather pants or leather pants in general. I have a few types and for me personally, they are weather neutral because I live in Toronto and the weather here is just so unpredictable i could definitely get away with wearing leather in the summer but if you live somewhere warmer like la for example maybe not but they're just a great basic to have these ones specifically are from nasty gal and they have kind of like a croc feel to them they are again a little bit baggy and more straight leg they are a bit cropped but i also have another pair of denim denim another pair of leather trousers from zara that are similar to this just like a smooth black leather i'll insert a photo here but they look so good obviously in the winter and in the fall with the booties but they also look great with heels or little like slides in the summer with 
you know, even your white tank top or your crop top or your band tee, which I'm about to get to. Obviously, you can get leather trousers or pants that are more affordable or you can get them more on the pricier end. I'll link a few below, but had to throw these in there because they are just so good like how good does this look together everything here just works you know almost last but not least is just your favorite big graphic tee or band tee this one here is absolutely not real but i got this at cole and terry's and i'll try to link it below but there's something about the wash of this gray t-shirt and the graphic print the fit of it the style that i love and wear all the time it's super effortless but still very put together um you can tuck it into jeans you can wear it with trousers you can cinch it up and wear it more as like a crop top tuck it into your bra and wear it as a crop top which is a great hack it's just again a really important piece in your wardrobe because i didn't want to say staple one more time then i haven't mentioned anything really girly so i wanted to show you guys a little slip dress option because i think slip dresses are a really good piece in your wardrobe to have personally when i don't know what to wear if i'm going to an event or a dinner i'll wear this with little heels and a blazer over it and you're done um, but you can obviously dress this up for like summer events for graduation for parties for weddings this one right here is obviously white silk and i love the sweetheart neckline but i also love a good straight cut or straight neckline slip dress um every brand makes these you can find these absolutely everywhere but again such a must-have in my wardrobe and last but not least i had to throw in my favorite pair of denim shorts because summer is coming and i'm very picky about my shorts so these ones specifically are reworked denim they're by levi's i think from urban outfitters so these are high cut they're kind of like mom jeans or like your vintage high-waisted levi's denim cut into shorts which i love because they're not super tight around your thighs which is personally a preference because i find that the wider the jeans are on your thighs the slimmer your thighs are gonna look and they're not super short which is great because you know no accidents they're comfortable thought i would show you guys my favorite pair of denim shorts but um two hours later i think we're done here so that you guys wraps up the video these are my wardrobe staples i hope you guys enjoyed definitely let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite or what your most worn item in your closet is i'd love to know and if you like this video make sure to give it a little thumbs up and subscribe but with that said thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye guys